But I've taken a long, hard thought about this and I think it's the right thing to do. Maybe it's my grandfather's records of doll speeches behind me, or maybe it is the fact that I want to live in a better Dublin. But I've decided that I'm going to run in the next election as an independent candidate. Today, I'm announcing that I'm standing in the next local elections followed by national elections. My manifesto will be to make Dublin a more livable city. My policies will focus on the people who are living in the city, not commuting to the city two or three times a week. As Irish people, we tend to push our problems down the road and leave it for the next generation to sort it out. It's time for this to change. Whether you believe in climate change or not, there is still a risk that sea levels will rise. A sea defence for Dublin and around Dublin city is needed. Plans for sea walls and sea levees are needed right now. Not when we're getting a point with fungi down at James's Gate. Local property taxes should be used to ensure the future of Dublin city. Dublin must become a more functioning city for the people that live there. Parks and open spaces need to be better utilised. More free events and entertainment should be put on by the city, including commercial uses within these parks, such as coffee shops and restaurants, should be considered so they can pay for facilities like waste collection and public bathrooms. More running tracks and routes are required within the city and all new developments should build these in. More bins are required, more recycling hubs are desperately needed around the city. Even Saturday morning drop-off spots around the city for composting and glass recycling are required. I'm in favour of all forms of housing, public, affordable homes, private homes, bill for rent, and I won't be objecting to any new housing. I will only sit for one term and I will not be seeking re-election. This will allow me to submit proposals and new legislation and vote for good ideas and good long-term policy, rather than policies that might get me more votes in the future. I will work with other TDs based on good policy and good ideas, not party politics and vote grabbing headlines. Please get behind me as I declare my candidacy today on the 1st of April, 2023.